<laughs> Gonna have to get some PG for that. Amen. <laughs> hey there, guys. Welcome to Style Code Live from New York. I'm Rachel Smith. And I'm Frankie Grande. Ooh, big night. Our Ooh. guest this evening is a TV host, producer, and a business woman. She also knows fashion like it is no one's business. Check it out and take a little look at this. I love the cold shoulder. I'm loving the one shoulder, but now I have to sit at home and obsess, like, which is my good shoulder? <laughs> <laughs> Please well, we welcome. bring it on the cold shoulder. Yeah, yeah, you've got both of them Please welcome the co-host of Ease Fashion Police, <laughs> Melissa Rimmer. Yay! Yay! Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. God. Oh, oh, stop with this rose wig. gold metallic I jacket. Know, it's know. everything that I love to give a twirl. Okay, Can I have a twirl? A twirl. Yeah. 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 Mark and Melissa. Oh, my God. Thank There's you. no way you're Come keeping it out. Uh, uh, Tart. Ooh, Tart collection. Fun. Well, good. Yeah. It's going to be hanging in my closet there. at the end of this interview. You're going to have to fight me for it. I'm uh, ready. Yeah, Let's any, do it. Anything so, rose gold uh, or yeah. snorkel Isn't it great? blue. It mat, look at it. It matches your nails. I'm not sure that that's something that I was trying to do, but I'm glad I I know, matched. me too. I'm glad that we're there trying. We go. There, there we go. There we go. Fully appreciate There you go. And you've got the cold shoulder thing. I exactly. Know. I love the cold shoulder trend. Why do you love the cold shoulder trend? Because it's fun. It's different. It's mm -hmm. sexy. I tend to have sometimes like overheat. Uh -huh. yeah. So it's nice. You can have a sweater and like a jacket, and then you can take it off and cool off for a minute. And you just shimmy. Okay. Put it back on. You shimmy, it, it ventilates. It, it <laughs> ventilates, exactly. <laughs> but it's super feminine and flirty. And I think that women, too, that have like, you know, if they don't want to show too much arm, yeah. I feel like it just kind of. It's just a nice new, it's a fresh take. It is. Everyone loves their shoulders. Yeah. It's hard to find a bad shoulder. Exactly. Yeah. So Sunday, the Oscars are finally here. I mean, mm. I feel like months of going to different award shows and things like that, seeing all the variety of fashion, but it is, it's gonna be a feast for you guys on mm. East Fashion Police. Yes. So come Sunday night, so many stuff. Oh, there cute. we go. Yeah. Yes. Look how cute. Yes. Great set, by the way. It's Thank gorgeous. You. Thank you. Oh my God, look how short and, I look. Uh, <laughs> that's how, that? I, that's like, how I feel every day. Welcome to my life. Exactly. Yeah. Working with this one. Exactly. What can I say? But who are you, who are you looking forward to seeing out there on that carpet the Well, most? the person I think that's sort of taken us for the best ride this mm -hmm. season is Nicole Kidman. Yes! Yes! Really? Yes! Yes! But when you say ride, yes. please, please define, okay. Okay. give us a little bit more. I of the didn't love the Globes dress. Yeah, that was the white one. That was I the loved that silver one. one. Yeah, I like that one. That but one, you didn't I like did, this one. I didn't like the sleeves. Right, yeah. yeah. But, but this was metallic like metallic Yeah, but this was the preview of metallic. And right. this, and then she hit us with, with that green Gucci. Dress. Gucci mm -hmm. That was everything. That okay. wasn't a dress. That was a showpiece. Okay. okay, we literally have been fighting over this. And lots of people have. That's a and showpiece. I'm team you. Thank you. Mm. That is not meant for a civilian to no, wear. Not at all. And I can appreci <laughs> appreciate the fact Amen. that she took her, her full fledged approach when it comes to fashion, wore something very couture from Gucci I mean, for that red carpet. That, Love the color on her, but those parrots, it was like she had that, her two BFFs it was hanging art. with her. But honestly, it was art. that truly was fashion as art. And okay. a shout out to Australia and a shout out to the film. But which not is, just, it was just. No one else, could, and she worked it. She did work it. And you mm -hmm. knew she, she felt did. good in it. And so she's been taking us on quite a ride yes. where she's been a little bit out of the box. And a little all over the place, too. But very, lots of metallics. True. Yeah. Very so, much so. But very much sort of, she is the one we're all waiting for. Okay. Yes. Because I we're agree. waiting to see where that ride's going to take exactly. us. Exactly. She's been enough. taking us on a quite a ride. Okay, so we cool. talked about the gold the globes. Uh -huh. We talked about the Grammys. Are there any trends that you think that, besides metallics, like that are going to actually it's, continue seen, and carry through? Well, I think we've seen so much embellishment. We have. Very romantic, mm. very ethereal. Mm. Lots of chiffon mm. with ble with beading and soft colors mm. and that whole kind of thing, which again, then we'll end up seeing heavily structured next. Mm. Right. Because the pendulum always does seem to swing to from swing one yeah. to the so other. To the next. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. But I think that's gonna continue through the Oscars. Yeah. Yeah. And the metallics, do you think? I think the metallics are gonna through? continue for sure through I the Oscars. So Oscars. They're still showing a ton of metallics. Yeah. Um and that plunging neckline. Right. Mm. That wide I, mm. but I don't okay. I have this thing mm. about Dresses that make me nervous. I don't want to be nervous <laughs> uh -huh. looking at you. <laughs> right. It gives me anxiety. I hear you. Yeah. You're like, oh, don't move too. Don't move. And you know, you just go, ah. You know, like for me, it makes <laughs> me nervous, and I don't like being made nervous by someone else. And also, I don't really want to see anyone's nipples. No, and, it's the cold nipple trend. But I would, That's okay. what we're about and to get. And here's the thing. Is, it's one thing for actresses with these amazing bodies to do it, but then these things sort of trickle down. 
and I don't want to sit at dinner and see like my neighbor's nipples. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't want to. I I don't Fair need enough. to see it. So no, is, that, is it safe to say that that's the one trend that you do not want to see on the red carpet? The plunging I, and too revealing. No, I too like revealing. the plunging and the. Re but it should never be where uh, for me anyway. Where I'm anxious. Okay. Yeah. So no anxiety for Miss yeah. Melissa Rivers. Even though you're here, very taped in, I don't. I. I just, you know, yeah. I, I feel like we can talk. I have a lot of anxiety in general, <laughs> and I don't need to up it. Right. You yeah. know By I mean? staring at your outfit coming down that carpet exactly. and just wondering what's going to yeah. happen. Yeah. Is it going to stay on? We don't know. Exactly. Well, we've had Fashion Police co-hosts, Brad and Nene, yeah. both on the show, yeah. Yeah. and we Love barely that. could get a word in edgewise <laughs> because they are so dynamic. So, so who is the toughest critic? I think Nene is Tells it exactly how the she most feels. opinionated, yeah. but I don't think she's the toughest critic. Okay. So who is? Oh God, I think probably me. <laughs> so you go for so? it. Probably Own me. It. Because I don't know. I think we're all pretty. I think me only because I'm able to say like I love this person and I love their style. But I don't necessarily, like, I'll be able to say pretty woman, pretty dress, not pretty together. Right, mm -hmm. okay. And so I think I'm very clear on on that. Juliana's pretty tough. She is. Yeah. She can be a tough You know, cookie. I take that back. Juliana might be. I do love me some G, though. Yeah, because Juliana gets to see it up close. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, she's, she's like, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh and sometimes right. seeing it in, the, in a and photo then seeing versus the photo live on TV. I think Juliana's probably our toughest, now that I think about it. Uh, right. So your mom, you yes. know, talking about the amazing Joan Rivers, she was a strong, hilarious, groundbreaking entertainer oh. who I have had the privilege of meeting many, many times. Mm -hmm. She's a sweet woman to me. And um, what was the most important thing that she taught you? Oh God, just to keep laughing. Yes. You know, my mom was so, you know, she gave me this tremendous sense of gratitude. Yeah. And appreciation. And you know, we'd walk outside and there'd be a car waiting and she'd be like, look at that, I'm 80 years old and they're still sending a car for me. How great is this? <laughs> and I think it's about always being grateful and knowing how lucky we all are mm -hmm. to be working in the profession that we're working because we love it. Yeah. Because we enjoy what we do and that is such a, a gift. There's never a red carpet outfit, crazy style trend or person that your mom hasn't had a strong opinion about yes. over the years. So, in honor of her, we're gonna play a little game. What would Joan say? Okay. So, that's Let's amazing. See. How cute yeah. is that? So, we have a, a fancy, Smanshy. Nice! Do you Elfers. remember? I was the first celebrity featured on What Would Joan Say? No, I yes, didn't on the know. first episode, your first How episode back, I made fun of myself on the VMAs. Uh, yes, I do remember I said, that. I do, I and said I look like Liberace and the clown had a baby. There you go. There you go. And you've, you've, you've He's evolved. Changed. Yes. He's <laughs> no longer <laughs> look like that. Yeah. All right, guys, so uh, Melissa, what I'd like you for, to do is just pull a question out of here. Okay. And answer, answer it as your mother would. Oh, good luck with that, okay. Uh, oh, it's pretty. What would Joan's slogan t-shirt say? Ooh. Yeah? Oh, grow up. <laughs> <laughs> so she would have a little graphic tee it's like so that. True. It would say, oh, grow up. Oh, grow up. <laughs> yeah, everybody relax. Or, I or, am what I am. Am. or just re everyone relax. relax. Yeah? Just relax. Just relax. I everyone love it. relax. Okay, I pull love another it. one. Okay, another us. one. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, I'll hold it. There we go. You're Anna? welcome. What would Joan say about the latest trend? Not putting your jacket on and letting it dangle around your shoulders. Well, someone's sister yeah, I mean, has maybe, been doing uh, that. Hey, 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 I'm no, rocking it. How much of a rush is she in that she couldn't get both arms in the jacket? <laughs> <laughs> she had to get to Madison Square Garden. <laughs> and stick, they just stick Listen. one arm in. It's not the editor drape. It's, it's one arm. She, your sister does do a very nice job of, Listen, of doing this. Okay? She's but no, she's got both arms in. This yeah. is like a one arm, like yeah. literally, like I'm running out the door. Do you want me to tell Who you? The, do you want me to tell you so why? So what would Joan say? Joan would say, "Put on your jacket, slow <laughs> down, take a sweater." She was a Jewish mother. Like, one more question. The jacket, Listen, course, what however. would Joan say about the cold? Oh, she would love it because women's shoulders are the last thing to go on your body. Uh, what say? Uh, a women's shoulder is the last thing to go on your body. So uh, even an older love dame. It. Can wear a cool, an open shoulder. I love I that love this it. would be Joan approved. Yes, I Thank want so this. Much for Can, what would Joan us? say if I was wearing this? Would she be all right with it? She would say, come on, Butch, what's your number? Hey. <laughs> oh, How you doing? Hey. Oh, hello. Hello, Butch. Hello, Sarah. Hello, Sarah. 
Taylor. <laughs> Thank you so much for popping in, Melissa. Thank we appreciate you. for having me. And you guys, tune into E's Fashion Police Special Oscars Red Carpet Recap on Monday at 8 p.m. I will be watching. I you can't better. wait to see what you say about the call. So good, so good. And guys, stick around after the show because we have a special SDL Plus with entertainment expert and Oscar obsessive, just like myself, IMDb correspondent Dave Carger is in the house and going to be telling us who he thinks is taking home the gold on Sunday. So I caught up with actress, model, and author, the gorgeous Garcelle Bouvet, who spilled her beauty secrets and gave a little parenting advice for Beyonce and George Clooney mm -hmm. and Madonna and anyone else who's having twins exactly. because she's had Funny. them okay. for a very long time. Yeah. So go check it out. Yay, thanks. You're so wonderful. I'm taking my jacket. I'm taking it off. Bye.